Hey loves, it's Jama here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this draped skirt. And my own is modest, but if you want it to show your ties, if you want it to be a high slit, you can also do that. But I made a modest one. So we are using, for this particular skirt that I made, I used just 1.5 yard of doll face, 1.5 yard, 1.5 yard. Now we are going to start with our pattern drafting. First of all, we are going to draft a normal skirt pattern and the back will also be a normal skirt pattern with a zipper allowance that is the first step you will have to take then for the front i am cutting it on full this is a paper right but i am cutting my skirt the normal way we cut a skirt i am cutting it on fold after cutting the skirt on fold we will also cut out the back with a zipper allowance but make sure that your front is on fold at least it should be on fold now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to take out our half length because if you are using this for a gown, it is okay also. I want to use a gown pattern. So I'll take out my half length that is 16 and I'll mark my shoulder to hip 27. My shoulder to knee is 36 and I'll also mark my full length. After doing that, I'll go ahead and connect the lines. After connecting the lines, I'll label. Now I have my waistline, hip line, knee line and full length. The next thing that I'm going to do is to take my hip measurement, my waist measurement and mine knee measurement so for my hip my hip is 40 divided by 4 that is 10 my waist is 28 divided by 4 that is 7 i am not adding any allowance for now i am not adding any allowance the allowance that we use to sew this skirt will be on my fabric i'll add it when cutting out on my fabric i hope you understand now at the knee i'll take out eight inches from my hip and then i'll divide by four my hip is 40 minus 8 32 divided by 4 that is 8 that's why i marked 8 at the knee line now i'll connect my waist to my hip and my hip to my knee then from the knee you mark straight to the full length after cutting this front we are going to use it to cut out our back then we are going to add 2 inches or 1.5 for your zipper allowance it is up to you you know how many inches you would want to use for your zipper allowance now after cutting my skirt i will use it to cut out my back Now I am done cutting out my back and I will label it as back then I will also mark an arrow to indicate my waistline. The next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to open our front. You know I told you guys that I cut my front pattern on fold right. I am going to open my front pattern then I will indicate the right and the left. This is it. I'll open it. You can see the center line. I will extend these lines so that I will not get confused. I will extend the knee line, the hip line, and the full length. Now, I have labeled my right and my left. Now, the slit is on the left side. At the waistline, you will come down by 8 or 7 inches. It depends on how high you want your slit to be. But I came down by 8 at the left side. You know, the slit of the dress or the skirt is facing the left-hand side. Then at the full length, around the right side, you will come in by like 7 inches. It depends on how wide you want your own slit to be. So, if you come in by 7 at the full length, you will connect to your hip plan you can see the way i am covering that so i'll also go ahead and trace out the right side you know the right side is the smaller part of this skirt then i'll also come down by seven inches 
and then you are free to determine how wide you want the slit to be so from the first slit i marked four inches at the full length from the first line i marked four inches at the full length then i'll connect it to the seven inches that i marked from the waistline so i am trying to like trace out what it is going to look like on my paper and at this point i didn't really like the the size of the slit so i decided to like shift my left piece my left piece inside more so i want the slit for the left piece to start at the midpoint and that's why i am remarking it and i'm trying to shade the other line this line that i'm shading now is the first one it is wrong that's why it is good to draft you can see what the slits will look like on your pattern then i took in the other slits a bit i'm trying to cancel the first line that i marked so if you mark your right you mark your left so that you can have a clear view of what this thing will look like then you place another pattern paper on top and you go ahead and trace out your left your left should be traced out the one you will drape this is what you are going to trace out so if you place a transparent paper on your pattern you'll be able to see the lines so i'm trying to like trace out the shape of that left one and one thing about this sketch is that you cannot sew it without pattern drafting people are always asking me can't you do freehand there are some outfits that you cannot just sew with freehand you must draft so this one i'm trying to like trace out the left of this skirt the left side of this skirt and it is the one that i will drape you understand so i am um, tracing out the full length now i am done tracing out this um right side sorry this is the right side this is the right side i'm done tracing out the right side i'll go ahead and cut the left one off i hope you can understand now then this is my new right side i traced out the new right side so that i'll be able to trace the other to cut the other one off from the pattern paper i hope you are not confused if you are confused you can just rewatch this particular part so that you understand very well so after cutting it out this is my right and then the other one is my left so if you place the two of them you can see what it looks like right this is what it looks like now we are going to slash our right side our right side is the one we are going to slash i'll just keep my left aside my left will be plain then i'll go ahead and mark straight lines on this right paper these straight lines that i'm marking right now is where i'm going to slash this paper from you know you have to slash your paper you will cut it out on your fabric and then you will gather so that you get that draping effect now after marking these lines i'll go ahead and slash it open or slash all of them open i'll slash the lines open Now I am not slashing the lines, I'll go ahead and spread. So this is the fabric that I'll be using. It is a green doll face. Please ignore the water. That's from my steam from my steam iron. Now I'm going to place my pattern on it. And the right side of the fabric and the right side of the pattern should be facing you. You should be very careful. The, this is the right side of this doll face. And you can see the right side of the pattern also. The the normals, the parts that I marked on should be facing you so after placing the pattern on the fabric you are going to spread you can see the way i spread it that part so the more you spread the fuller your gathers that's one thing about this the more you spread the fuller the drip now after spreading make sure you measure each spread it should be up to like four inches you should spread this paper let's say by four four inches at least then after that i'll go ahead and add one inch seam allowance around all these all the sides of this paper because i'm going to use one inch to shape the size i'm going to use one inch to hem the full length the curved area the slit area then i will add half an inch to the waistline so around that place you slashed you will add one inch seam allowance around everything so you can see what i have right now this is the new shape it will give you after spreading now the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will pleats i'll start pleating 
I hope you understand what I'm talking about. You have to pleat that side that you spread it. So if you are splitting, you will be pinning it down. So you just pay attention so that you can see what I have here. So I'll continue pleating this side. You can see the way I'm pleating it. I'll continue pleating. And if I'm pleating, I will be pinning down. So there's a point that you get to. You place your pattern paper on it to check if you still have that 8 inches that you came down from your waistline. By You know, when we were covering these slits, we came down by 8 inches at that side. So after pleating, just make sure that it is still that 8 inches from that side plus the allowance. So I am done pleating right now. I'll go ahead and place this particular pattern. If I place the pattern, I will close it to make sure that I still have the same measurements. I'll just make sure that I'm maintaining the measurement. So I'll just go ahead and add one more pleat and that will be it. So after doing this, you go ahead and run a stitch on that side in order to hold down your pleats so that they will not scatter. You go ahead and run a stitch at, on that side. After doing that, we we'll cut out the second door. That's I'm following this thing step by step so that we will not get confused. Now, this is for the, the left side of the skirt. I'll place my pattern on it. And like I told you guys, I will not be draping on this side. I'll place my pattern on it. And then I'll add one inch seam allowance round. now i am done running a stitch on the other side i will go ahead and place it on top of this one you place there you place this particular one on top and then you make sure that they are equal at the waistline make sure that they are equal at the waistline then you pin the sides pin the sides pin the waistline and if you have any trimming to do you can do it at this point So this is what I have. After pinning down, I will turn it, I will turn to the other side so that I'll be very sure that they are equal at the waist and that the waist measurement is still the same. Now I will turn over and if you turn over, you can see that I have some excess at the waist and I'll go ahead and trim it. Now this is for the back. This one that I'm cutting out now is for the back. And the back is just a normal straight cut, just a normal straight cut with zipper allowance. I'll go ahead and add one inch seam allowance around that paper. So after doing this, the next thing that I will do is that I will close my zipper allowance. If you added 1.5 inch zipper allowance, you will go ahead and cover, close your zipper allowance. And after closing the zipper allowance, I will add it to this particular one, to this front side. So for me, if you are shaping, you should shape from your back. You know, your back is just a straight cut. It will help you to achieve your normal measurements if you take your measurement from the front you may find it difficult so i'm trying to trim up the ss after joining the two of them like the front pieces together then after you can overlock the rough edges and then use a hemming gum to hem it do not run a stitch on it do not sew on it just use a hemming gum after weaving we call it weaving right after weaving just fold it in and then you can use a hemming gum to hem it so that everything will look very neat you don't need to sew you don't need to sew it to give it a dirty finishing now after doing this i will place my back on this piece So after placing the back on the piece, you go ahead and take your measurements. After connecting your measurements, you go ahead and stitch down. Just use your the rest of the allowance that you have and then sew down. 
so pin down please then i at this point i had to make this a skirt but if you want to make it a gown you are also safe you can make it a gown so i'm cutting out the band that we attach to this skirt i'm cutting out a two inches band on fold so i'll go ahead and join these two pieces for my band now this is my skirt and i am done joining you can see that i did not add any slits at the back of this skirt you don't need any slits because the front is open already you can walk freely so this is our skirt and i'll go ahead and iron i'll iron the side and please if you are ironing do not iron these pleats down please do not iron them down it is not necessary you don't need to iron down then the next thing that we do right now is to trim i'll trim the full length so that all of them will be equal at the full length then after trimming it if you want to do a tiny hemming fine but i always say that you should use your hemming gum just weave it and then use your hemming gum to close it it will look very neat then i'll go ahead and open the zipper allowance and i will fix my band this is my band i'll go ahead and fix my band so after fixing my band the next thing is just to hem the edges and that will be all i hope this tutorial is helpful so if you want to register for our online classes our june our july online classes they will start on the 5th of july you can just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register i hope this tutorial is helpful do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also click on the notification bell so that you get more sewing videos from me bye